Welcome to Trinav Chemistry Classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about intermediate first year chemistry. Ki summer ninchi. IPE Intermediate Public Examination 2024 60-60 Tejkotam Etla Anna to Vanti Dhanpo Hydrogen and its compounds ninchi. Very short answer questions. Chod Bhatna. Manaki e intermediate public person Andhra Pradesh lo March Vokto Tedinundi Mariu Telangana lo February Ravindu Tedinundi Madhrotna and Mandraka Tilsu e intermediate public person IPE twenty twenty four intermediate public examination lo Chemistry lo sixty sixty Tichkota Matla lo Mam four marks question su Yes I look to some Alagi very short answer questions low environmental chemistry group 14 elements group 13 elements yes block elements states of matter to some e video lo manam some of the questions from hydrogen and its compounds nunchi chodabothunnam so okka sari kanaka ee very short answer questions yokka weightage tentative weightage kanaka manam kanaka chuste kanaka ela untundi ante kanakandi Hydrogen and its compounds in Chaite, Waka four marks question Gani, lay than take an akandi, Runduma two marks questions in the Gani, Rautan Kaukasamundi. So, Anwali e chapter in Chimanaki, two marks questions with Kunchun, now serious cut is false now from Mundi. So, Monaki e IP twenty twenty four, and a Monaki public examination slow, sixty sixty the Chipotan low Monaki, e two marks questions so, Chala key role play just like. So, now we are going to talk a focus on this. So, this is a little bit of a question. We are going to talk about compounds. Thank you for watching Tranath Chemistry Classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about these tentative videos. So, we are going to talk about these compounds. So, we are going to talk about these compounds. We are going to talk about 2 plus 2, 4 marks. So, and the monarchy for even four marks, two plus two can the Koda at Tanakoda, Aka Samundi. So, monarchy, if four marks questions to stay Kanka, Pradhananga monarchy, Matam Malu questions can be spun. And the low, Vogiti hydrates and types, hydrates and the binary compounds of hydrogen with the elements in the periodic table except noble gases are called. Hydrates, so hydrates more rakalan tilsu, electron rich, electron precise, electron deficient. So ionic hydrates, covalent hydrates, and metallic or non stoichiometric hydrates. Again, covalent hydrates are three types electron precise, electron rich, and electron deficient. Adevadanga, hardness of water. Mudogu sirkin tentekan kandi, or hydrogen peroxide preparation and properties. Nalgo Krishna Sir Kintante, position of hydrogen in the periodic table. So, Avi Bradhananga on a twenty four marks question suit. Avi Kakunda, Manaku Watnin Chipoda Manaki, or four marks or Kakunda Ipun Yutanadi, if we video or Torbotna. Thank you for watching Tanath Chemistry classes. Please like the video, share, and subscribe the channel. So, what are the isotopes of hydrogen and write their abundance? So we know that isotopes means the species having same atomic number but different mass numbers are called isotopes. The species having same atomic number and different mass numbers are called isotopes. Right? The hydrogen has three isotopes, namely rhodium, that is 1H1, deuterium, 1H2. 1H2, then tritium, 1H3. One H three. So one is protium, one is protium. So this is one H1. And the second one is deuterium. So it is denoted with D. Right? So one H2. One H2. This is then tritium, 
this is 1H3. So, this is the abundance. 99.985% is the proteum. And then deuterium is the 0.0156%. And this is almost tritium. Tritium is 1H3. It is denoted with T. And its abundance is of 10 to the power of minus 16%. And tritium is the radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Radioactive isotope of hydrogen. Next one is the three isotopes of hydrogen differ in their rates of reaction. Give the results. So just now we have discussed the hydrogen has three isotopes. Protium 1H1, deuterium 1H2, tritium 1H3. So these isotopes differ in their rate of rates of reaction. That is, while participating in chemical reactions, they react in with the different rates. Why? The reason, the main reason, the difference in reactivity of the various isotopes of hydrogen is due to their different enthalpies of bond dissociation. As their bond dissociation enthalpies are different, they are, as their bond dissociation enthalpies are different, they have uh, different, uh, they differ in their rates of reactions. That is HH bond dissociation, whereas in deuterium, DD bond de 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 dissociation and tritium, TT bond dissociation. Due to different, as they have different, so the HH bond dissociation enthalpy, bond dissociation enthalpy means the amount of energy required to break the bonds. So that is different for, from high protein to deuterium and tritium. That's why they have uh, different, they differ in their rates of chemical reaction. Next one is why dihydrogen is, why dihydrogen, why is dihydrogen used in building of high melting metals? So the atomic hydrogen and oxy is hydrogen torches find used for cutting and building purposes. The atomic hydrogen atoms are allowed to recombine on the surface to be welded to generate the temperature of 400 Kelvin. So the whatever atomic hydrogens which are formed due to the dissociation of hydrogen molecule, that is dihydrogen, those atomic hydrogen atoms are allowed to recombine on the surface, on the surface to be welded to generate the temperature of 4000 Kelvin. 4000 Kelvin. Next one is, describe one method for the synthesis of high pure dihydrogen gas. So high pure dihydrogen gas, that is almost around 99.95% or 99.5% is obtained by the electrolyzing warm aqueous barium hydroxide solution between the nickel electrodes. Not only this, the electrolysis of, this not only this method, electrolysis of uh, acidified water or alkaline water gives high pure hydrogen. High pure hydrogen. The next one is what is syngas? The mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen dihydrogen, that is H2 gas, is called syngas, which is also called synthesis gas or water gas. So why we are calling it as synthesis gas? Because it is useful, it is useful for synthesizing many of the organic compounds. That's why it is called synthesis gas. It is called synthesis gas. So what is coal gas? So here, uh, this question may be asked like this, how water gas is prepared? The process of producing syngas from coal, when coal is treated with steam, water gas is produced. This reaction we are calling it as the coal gasification. Next one is what is water gas shift reaction? The production of dihydrogen can be increased by reacting carbon monoxide of the syngas mixer with steam in the presence of iron chromate catalyst. This reaction is called water gas shift reaction. Water gas shift reaction. So the whatever uh, the, to improve the production of hydrogen, if the syngas mixer is reacted with the steam to produce more amount of H2. That's why this, this reaction, we are calling it as the water gas shift reaction. So next one, comment on the reactions of dihydrogen with A, chlorine, B, sodium, C, copper, 2 oxide. That is cupric oxide. Hydrogen, hydrogen reacts with 
hydrogen reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. As electron pair is shared between H and Cl, leading to the formation of a covalent molecule. And uh, then with the sodium, hydrogen is reduced by sodium to form sodium hydride. We know that which is an ionic hydride. Then next one is hydrogen reduces cupric oxide, that is Cu2 oxide to copper and itself oxidized to water. Itself oxidized to water. So, uh, explain the amphotric nature of water. We know that according to Bronsted Lowry theory, proton donor is an acid and proton acceptor is a base. So, water has the ability to act as a Bronsted acid as well as Bronsted base. That is, it behaves as an amphotric substance. So, when it reacts with acids, it behaves like Bronsted base. And when it reacts with base acids, bases, it behaves like a Bronsted base. Bronsted base. That's why we are calling it as the uh, we are calling it as the amphotric substance. We are calling it as the amphotric substance. For example, if you take HCl, when it, we know that this is an acid. So when water reacts with when water reacts with acids, when water reacts with acids, reacts with acids. So H3O plus. So in this case, water is accepting a proton from HCl. That's why when it reacts with acids, it behaves like a base. It behaves like a base. Whereas when it reacts with bases, when it reacts with bases such as ammonia, so it is donating a proton to, which is donating a proton to water and it is forming OH minus ions. OH minus Right? When HCl reacts with water, it is forming Cl minus and H3O plus ions. Whereas when it reacts with well, ammonia-like bases, it behaves like acids. That's why we say that water is an amphotric substance. Water is an amphotric substance. So along with these questions, we, have, we need to read. One is what is permanent hardness of water? What is permanent hardness of water? So the water, the hardness of water which cannot be removed easily, we are calling it as the permanent hardness which can be removed by simple methods are called temporary hardness. And permanent hardness, why? What is Kalgan method? What is Kalgan method? The next, what is Clark's method? What is Clark's method? So whatever, the, we know that in the hardness of water, there are around six methods. Two for the removal of temporary hardness, two for the removal of permanent hardness, four for the permanent hardness. So hardness of water is due to presence of Calcium and magnesium ions as their bicarbonates, chlorides and sulfates. So if the calcium and magnesium ions present as, present as their bicarbonates, it is called temporary hardness. If it is present as chlorides and sulfates, it is called permanent hardness. Right? So what is permanent hardness? Why it is causing? What is temporary hardness? Why it is causing? What is Colgan method? What is Clark's method? What is washing shoda method? So all those six methods can be asked in two marks. Similarly, write any two methods or one method for the preparation of hydrogen peroxide. Write any one oxidation property of hydrogen peroxide. Like this will be questions asked from this hydrogen complex. So these are the some of the uh, top some of the questions from hydrogen compounds. Thank you for watching Trinath chemistry classes. Please like the video, share and subscribe the channel.